Thank you, Rohit. Good evening, everyone, again. Um, it is a matter of absolute honor and privilege for me uh, today to be able to welcome, on behalf of the collective present here, Dr. Nachiket Mohan to the Academy. I also extend a warm welcome to Sri Devashree Bhattacharya, uh, who is a colleague of Dr. Moore's at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Um, sir, as you've already been made aware, the NADT lecture series is a modest yet robust attempt on our part to create an institutional platform to generate the requisite intellectual capital to be able to guide policy making at the national level. Um, and it gives us immense pleasure to welcome you today uh, as, as the first speaker of the lecture series to deliver the inaugural lecture. Dr. Nachiket Mohar currently heads the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in, in India. He was born not very far from here in the Yavatmal district of Maharashtra. He then went on to get a degree in physics from Mumbai University, a management degree from IIM Ahmedabad, and then went on to do a PhD in economics from UPenn, the University of Pennsylvania, where he specialized in finance at the prestigious Wharton School. After passing out from IIM Ahmedabad, Dr. Moore chose not to walk down the much beaten path and instead joined an NGO called Pradhan in Madhya Pradesh where he worked with mushroom farmers. That's partly the reason mushroom forms um, a core part of his everyday diet today. Um, he uh, was then recruited by Sri K.B. Kamath uh, at the ICICI Bank where he spent the next 20 years of his career from 1987 to 2007. The last six years of which was spent um, at the board of the ICICI Bank. Um, now, again, in 2000, mm, roughly 2007, he again chose to listen to his instincts and to his inner desire of giving back to society and doing public service when he was a very strong contender for the top job at the ICICI. He instead chose to head the newly created ICICI Foundation, the bank's social, social sector organization. The foundation went on to do transformational work under his leadership, whether it was um, you know, making clean water available to the district of Guntur in Andhra Pradesh or creating a supply chain for the apple growers of Himachal Pradesh uh, or for introducing the warehouse financing model in India. Um, in 2010, he left the foundation to work with an organization called Sugh Vazbu, which in Tamil means happy life. He was based in Tanjore, providing better healthcare services to villages. In 2013, he was nominated to the board of the Reserve Bank of India. And in 2016, he decided to join the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation as the country director. Sir, you, you have an incredible body of achievements which all of us admire you for. But sir, we are, all of us sitting here are hopeless, incorrigible UPSC civil service people. And that's why, despite all of this, the one reason everybody sitting here will always remember you for is for adding that little bit extra to the already very vast syllabus. <laughs> RBI's Nachiket Moore Committee on Comprehensive Financial Services for Small Businesses and Low Income Households, and also by being a member of the Bimal Jalan Committee that was set up for examining applications for new bank licenses. Sir is here today to speak to us about a topic which he has devoted, devoted his entire life to financial inclusion in India, very, very relevant and pertinent in today's times and something that will drive economic growth and prosperity in the country for years to come. So without much further ado, I would invite Dr. Moore to deliver his lecture. So. 